What is the most OP build for Gatekeeper in Fire Emblem Three Hopes? Gatekeeper is not only one of the last characters you unlock, but is also one of the most unique characters in the game. This is due to being the only unit that has access to all the hidden abilities. Well, except for Falcon Knights. This variety makes his build very unique and very strong. And this is where I blow your mind. Gatekeeper's best class is Dancer giving him the name Frozen Dancer. This build is very different from what I normally build, but considering how late into the game you get Gatekeeper, I wanted to give him the best build possible. If you don't understand a decision I made, keep watching, I explain it as we go. I haven't made any Dancer classes up until now, but you're gonna see why in a moment. Our weapon of choice for the build is any weapon with chain level three and boost consecutive hit level three. If you've seen my other builds, you know how strong this combo is. For our accessory, we're running Warm Cloak, assuming you have it. This is Sylvain's ability that you gain by giving him the Merc Whistle in your playthrough. Don't worry if you don't have it. Gatekeeper is much weaker without it, but the build stays intact. We will get to the actual ability in just a bit. Our battalion of choice is to resist cavalry, and this is mandatory this time around. As for our combat art slash magic, we're running Ice Blade and Blizzard. At this point in the build, you're probably wondering, why am I using magic-related abilities on Gatekeeper? Well, you'll see. Watch till the end before you judge my decisions, you won't regret it. Since we have two moves that apply freezing, it's impossible for the enemy to have any time to act on their own, unless you make a mistake. This is where our unique ability change comes into play. Gordian Stroke increases our attack range and our damage dealt proportionate to combos above 150. In this case, we're stacking a damage increase on both Gordian Stroke and our consecutive hit on our weapon. This gives us devastating range and damage. If you're not running Gordian Stroke, you're using Camaraderie, which is a very cool ability. It just isn't all that strong in the grand scheme of things. At 300 hits and above, a strong attack or a final normal attack summons other gatekeepers to perform follow-up attacks. Super unique and super interesting, but also super bad. In practice, your camaraderie ability will likely miss most of your enemies. And even when it does hit, it's very low damage. Our second unique is called Nothing to Report. This nullifies all status effects, which is another really cool ability. Soldier's Honor reduces damage by 50% when ordered to defend, while Tome Buster gives us 95% damage boost against tomes, which is a really important element of this build. As for our abilities, as usual watch till the end and I'll show you where I got each one. Sword Prowess gives us a 30% damage boost while wielding a sword. Gather brings nearby enemies in front of you whenever you use the first basic attack of your combo. Proficient Wit Strike is literally the most important ability for this build. It increases your damage by a crazy amount, and I'll explain how. This ability effectively turns all of your attacks into magical attacks, while also calculating all of our damage off our magic stat. You'll see when I covered the stats that I pumped magic super hard with Gatekeeper in order to get the huge damage bonus from magic as a dancer in this game. Physical attack damage is far less powerful than magical attack damage. This is mainly because most enemies have high defense and low resistance, with the exception of a few classes like other mages or dark knights or holy knights. Our battalion gives us a damage bonus against those holy knights and dark knights, and Dancer gives us a huge damage bonus against all other tome wielding mages. This means that we're gonna do an insane damage to everything in the game. Moving on to Ranged Master, this ability increases our attack range, which is a really good ability to have for our reach. Undaunted greatly increases our damage at the cost of not being able to guard, which isn't really that important to be honest, it pretty much never guard. Heaviest Hitter causes our strong attacks to produce the stun gauge at a very high rate. Although this build isn't all about breaking gauges, this ability is just too strong to leave off the list. Domineer gives us a damage boost to all enemies on foot, just in case you thought there was any classes safe from our damage advantage. Special Dance is really powerful. This boosts the damage of our Dancer class action, 
It also seems to increase the time we get buffed from our dance. Our class action on Dancer boosts our attack speed and our movement speed, which turns Gatekeeper into a monster even further. Absorb Defense is super strong for this build because their defense takes a nosedive from our boost to our magic. This allows us to get all the defense back over the course of a battle. Effectively, every time we defeat an enemy commander, we get a permanent defense buff for the entire battle. Essence of Ice is our final ability, but it's also very mandatory. We're running both ice abilities, which gives us permafreeze on everything. So why not get enhanced versions of those spells via Essence of Ice? This time around, our stat allocation is super simple. We need as much magic as possible, and if you can grab some decks and speed along the way, even better. So with that being said, you want to level Dark Bishop around 90 or so levels, more or less, until you see your magic hit above 100. Then swap to Trickster for a nice boost to our speed and decks. This will leave us with some near-capped magic and some respectable speed and decks. If you wanted to use stat boosters, feel free to boost your decks and speed above 100 and cap your magic. Now let me explain the whole build all connected. The higher our combo goes, the more range and damage that we get. Chain 3 allows us to hold those combos for longer periods of time. Our Dancer gives us a big buff to our movement and attack speed whenever we successfully finish a full dance combo while timing each hit properly. The problem is this leaves us wide open for an extended period of time, and it's easy for enemies to knock us out of our dance. This is where the ice comes in. You freeze all your enemies before starting your dance to guarantee no interrupts. This gives you the ability to not only boost your damage and range, but your speed and attack speed for most of the map. Now with all of that power, we use our battalion and our class unique to effectively give us a damage advantage against the only units that would have high resistance stats. For the classes like Mortal Savant that have respectable resistance as well, we have our Domineer ability, giving us a damage bonus against all units on foot. Our proficient Wit Strike is what converts all of our damage to magic to help us destroy everything in our path. So the loop for this one is freeze your enemies with your ice abilities, then land a full dance to buff your speed. Use that speed to get an insanely high combo on enemies that literally can't move. The higher your combo goes, the faster you defeat them. Rinse and repeat. Plus add in the odd warrior special and awakening and there you go. You are now a force of nature. Now as for where I got each ability, sword prowess is from Myrmidon, thief, and mercenary. Gather from Trickster, Proficient Wit Strike from Mortal Savan, Range Master from, I believe, Dark Knight, but if not, then it's Holy Knight, Undaunted, Heaviest Hitter, and Domineer from Wyvern Lord, Special Dance from Dancer, Absorb Defense from Dark Bishop, Essence of Ice from Warlock, and Ice Blade from Thief. If you liked today's video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more builds. Let me know what character you want to see next.